Hello, my name is Dr. Monica Flores. I'm a pediatrician in South Florida since 2001. Today, let's talk poop. First, let's define constipation. I define it as hard, painful poop, or poop that requires lots of pushing or help coming out. While I personally feel that pooping a couple times a day is healthier, frequency of poop doesn't matter as much if it's soft, but at a minimum we should poop three times a week. There are various causes of constipation, but it all boils down to the stuff going in being too hard, the nerves or muscles of the intestines not working, or something blocking the poop from coming out. So when should we worry? Like many things in pediatrics, it depends on the age of the child. So let's take it step by step. Newborns have black poop called meconium, which is supposed to be pooped out within the first 24 to 48 hours of life. If they don't, then something inside the intestines, or the poop hole, or the nerves or the muscles that make them poop are not working. During the first week of life, the poop changes from a black color to a yellow seedy color. This yellow mustard color or lime green is absolutely perfect, but the frequency can be once a week to 16,000 times a day, or so it seems. In a newborn, only liquid comes in, only liquid comes out, so diarrhea is normal. Newborns never had to poop when they were inside your belly, so once they're outside, they have to figure out how to control the muscles in their belly and release the tone in the rectum. And that takes time, sometimes a few days, sometimes several weeks. If the baby is fussy, colicky, rash, constipated with hard balls, severe diarrhea, or at worst, blood in the stool, any and all may be signs of a milk protein malabsorption. This is easily diagnosed by checking for hidden blood in the stool by your provider. Remembered, liquid stool is normal in newborns. Constipation, hard stool, is never normal. Until they start solids. Once solids are started, everything changes. The stool consistency, the color, the smell. If we follow grandma's advice and start fruits and vegetables first, we usually don't get into trouble. But once the baby discovers teething biscuits, baby Cheerios, cereal, that's when the trouble starts. Prevention is the plan when starting solids. I try to avoid rice cereal altogether. Instead, give more mixed cereal or oatmeal. I recommend a little bit of water, either spoon fed or in a sippy cup, for the baby to clean their palate and to get used to drinking it. And it helps soften the poop after they eat the solids. Never juice. It's better to eat your fruit, then drink water. If we make it through infancy without constipation, the next big hurdle is toddlers. They have discovered that they can control what goes in their mouth and what comes out. Have you ever danced, wiggled, or hidden to poop? No, and neither is your toddler. All these are signs that they may be constipated. The difficulty in treating constipation in a toddler versus a child or adult is that they have learned that poop hurts, and then they won't do it. They'll hold it in for days, weeks, months. Children who are school age and above get into trouble because they get too busy to poop, or they are afraid to poop at school. For this age group, it's important to establish a poop routine. I recommend that 15 minutes after dinner, you request the child sit and relax on the toilet every day, no matter what. Remember, hard stools are never normal until you start solids, and 90% of constipation after starting solids is diet and learned behavior. 50% of our plate needs to be fruits and vegetables. The peas are important for pooping. Pears, prunes, pineapple, papaya. 25% of your plate should be protein, and 25% should be whole grain, brown, not white. Potatoes, white rice, white bread, white pasta and cereals can increase constipation. Drink lots of water. Limit the milk and milk products, yogurts and cheeses after the age of two. No juice ever. These have too much sugar which can promote cavities and take away the appetite for healthy foods. I prefer we eat our fruit and drink our water. Snacks for babies, toddlers and adults should be limited to fruits and veggies. After two years of age, popcorn is a great snack and full of fiber. Exercise is usually not a problem for a toddler but as we get older we become more sedentary especially when we discover videos games. What happens if we're doing everything in our diet, but our child is still constipated? We have to help them forget that it hurts to poop. If that requires medicines, expect to use them for twice as long as we were constipated. So if they were constipated for one month, we'll need treatment for a minimum of two months. My personal favorite is Miralax. It's not addictive, has no taste, and works by drawing water into the colon. So you must drink water for it to work. The only drawback is some days you may need more and some days less. The dose depends on the child, their diet, amount of exercise, amount of water. If you overdose, you get diarrhea. If you underdose, nothing happens. When things are really backed up, I resort to a suppository, but only to clean them out and never on a regular basis. When diet and dental stool softeners do not work within one to two weeks, that's when we worry and start the workup for dangerous causes of constipation. Your provider may consider an ultrasound, x-ray, blood work, which may include a CBC, a CMP, celiac, and possibly a GI referral for further evaluation. Like many diseases, constipation is best prevented with diet, but if the hard poops persist despite your changes, Seek expert care. Good luck and good poops.